Hey guys, how you doing? I'm here at Lake Sanders Bay and I just kind of show you guys a, a nice small mix you can do for bream and roach and all the other smaller varieties if you're looking to catch the, uh, get your checklist done or just looking to pick up a certain fish that uh, you haven't been able to catch. Now this mix, again, will pick up a lot of the smalls, the tench, the uh, Prussian carp, bream, Caspian roach. Again, your hook sizes, you're going to want, you know, one to twos, R1O, one -oh, barbless two, whatever you got, the smaller hooks. And it's a really short cast, the spot I'm fishing on. Let a little bit of cycle out and I'll just kind of show you what you can catch so short distance right in front of me. And I am using light feeder, or well, not real light feeder rods. I'm using the Big Ollie 1310. And usually if you let this cycle out, you'll get the uniques as well. Use an assortment of baits, blood worms. Yellow maggots, maggots, red maggots, a lot of the just smaller baits you can, that's kind of up to you what you're going for. You could use leeches if you want, the uh, tench love the leeches, but if you guys are struggling with any of these lake checklists, by that I mean, if you look here, I've caught, I've caught every, every fish on this lake, actually every fish in the game, but I was just kind of showing you, if you guys get stuck on some of these smaller ones. Uh, this is a really good mix to, to use, so we'll let the skin cycle out and show you a few of them. And then I'll show you the mix. Okay, that should be a unique.
Again, you'll notice a lot of the lakes, if, if you spot these European lakes, the uh, several uniques will come in. There's a unique tent right behind it. And as well, those eight, those eight pound, the eight pound bream that I caught, you can actually get them, you know, 11, 12, 13 pounds, just depends. And most of the time it'll cycle through and you'll get another oversized one. But I was just kind of showing you just a little quicker of a way to uh, get a lot of these in as opposed to trying to go around to a certain spot. Now, I, I've just marked a random spot. I'll show you real quick just to spot the spot. It's still somewhere I can throw a, a mix consistently to. As you can see, I'm fishing right here in front of me. But generally speaking, it shouldn't matter as long as you you know you can catch the smalls over there. It's your it's your mix that's bringing the fish in, guys. So. Again, another checklist. Another checklist fish. If you haven't been able to pick that up yet. And I'll show you guys real quick the mix and uh, let you out of here. Okay, what you're going to want to do is, oh, hold on, let me look at this. I'll show you my net, just I was messing around in another spot as well. Um, you know, you can get quite a few bream out of this. I'm just kind of go through the list, but, you know, your baits just kind of do a diverse group of them. You'll pick up a lot of these small fish to get your checklist complete. Uh, again, we're going to go 10 ounces catfish destroyer. 35-ounce carp rival, 35-ounce big riverine, 2 ounces of Tutti Frutti Supreme, 2 ounces of X Flavor Supreme, and of course, going for the bream, uh, I did 3 ounces of that, and then just 7 ounces of oil pea cake, and 8 ounces of hemp corn. Again, if you need to pause the screen and you want to get this checklist done at Lake Sandersby, this should help you guys, and uh, I hope you enjoyed.